everyone, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to make these lower furs here that are quite smooth with some rectangles. So let's go. Um, this is gonna be quite a long one, I think. So hang in there. So you need to add title clips to make all of the rectangles and the text. First, you're gonna need a big rectangle and a smaller other rectangle. So I'm gonna make it for my channel as usual, you know. I actually I did something interesting. I know now the colors I need to use. And then you're gonna add a second rectangle, um, roughly at the same distance from the side as the height of your first rectangle. Is that clear? I'm not sure it's clear. Um, so basically, like this length is roughly the same as this one. I uh, want it to be higher. Okay, like this seems okay. I'm gonna create that title and right away I'm gonna duplicate it. And in one of the two, I'm gonna remove the big rectangle, and in the other one, I'm gonna remove the small rectangle so that I know where they are. And yeah, it's quicker to do it like this. So we're gonna start actually with the smaller rectangle, which is this one. And I'm gonna put it on V2. Um, if you need to add tracks, you can just right click on any track and insert track, and then it will ask you stuff. So in our case here, we're gonna have something about four seconds long. And I'm gonna add a transform effect to make it move. So I want it to be at the roughly middle, uh, to be at the final place, which is the one we chose already. So here I'm gonna add a keyframe. And I'm go back, gonna go back to the first, make sure it's smooth. And I'm gonna move that all the way to the right. Well, not all the way, some way to the right. And then I'm gonna add some keyframes to make it more smooth. Cause right now, even though it says it's smooth, it's quite linear, look. And since Canal Live doesn't have curved things that you can move, you have to do it manually. So I'm gonna add one in the middle here and move it move it way to the left and then another one in the middle of the first middle and move it a bit to the left as well and another one in the middle of the second middle <laughs> uh, the second part i mean and move it to the left and see what that looks like not bad i like it then we're gonna take the big one put it underneath but it will start a little bit after Maybe like half a second later, somewhere like here. Maybe a bit more than half a second. I'm not sure exactly, you know, it's all kind of subjective in, in the end. And here to move it, we're not gonna use transform. We're actually gonna make it grow and we don't want it to move from here. So we're gonna use alpha shapes. So I already look for alpha. Then you say like alpha shapes, you drag it to your clip and you're gonna have to make a rectangle that only shows the bottom left. So at the first frame, we want it to be at zero, the size to be at zero, and we're gonna make sure it's smooth, and then we're gonna add another frame around here, and here it's gonna be fully grown. Uh, no, that's way too big, because like you need to find the place where it stops growing. So here, I think it's about around here. 290 seems good. Then I'm gonna add a keyframe towards the hand, like here, and move that to the middle. Same for here and here. Let's see what that looks like. That's quite smooth, I like it. Now we're gonna move on to the text. So make sure that you're in the area where everything is finished and not moving anymore, just to have the good background. Then you're gonna add another try to clip you can do Ctrl T or Project Add Title Clip, and then you're gonna write whatever you want. And just make it look pretty. Create title, and once again, we're gonna duplicate it and remove one of each. Well, like, <laughs> remove one of each text. So first we're gonna add the, the big one, I'm gonna go here. Um, once more it's gonna be a 
a bit after the first one. And here we are gonna first add a transform effect again. And pretty much in the same way, we're gonna make it move smoothly. So add some keyframes and then uh, make sure for the first one the text is hidden behind the small bar. Well, not really hidden, but like on the left of the small bar. Like here. Here it looks good. Then add a keyframe in the middle and move that to the right. Add a keyframe in the middle of the previous part and move that to the right. And another one here and to the right as well. Let's look at this. So it does look weird because like we're missing a part. So we need to add alpha shapes again, so I'm gonna do this. And once more, we need to have a little square on here. So I'm gonna add it, uh, so we need X to be small, Y to be high. X to be even smaller, like here, Y to be higher, and the size in Y to be higher. And then we need subtract, yes. Transition width, I like it as zero. You can decide to do whatever you want with that. And actually, I'm just gonna leave it on right on clear for just a second to align it with the little rectangle I have. Yeah, like this. And subtract. And now it should be all good. So one thing I just noticed is I make it arrive a bit too early compared to the light rectangle. So I'm just gonna move it, make it appear a bit later, like here. So here you can see I have a little problem because it doesn't show at the end. You could do two things to solve this, but I like the look of it not moving where it moves. So I'm just gonna move the first rectangle a tiny bit at this point here. It's gonna be a bit more uh, to the left. And so I'm gonna move the other ones a tiny bit as well. So now I can move that uh, once more, which should normally allow me to have my full word at the end. Yes, perfect. Yeah, so it will need a lot of adjustments. Um, but once you've done it, it should be okay. You can reuse it and just change the title clips, you know. So then we have the second title clip. Uh, I'll just drag it here. It will come in like a few frames after the first one. And what I want is for it to be arriving at the same time. So I'm just gonna go on this frame, then add my transform effect to my top clip, select it and add the frame here so it's finished at the same time. And then I'm gonna once more add some keyframes. This needs to be to the left, be hidden. And then in the middle, and this will be quite moved already. And this will be true. And at the end, okay. And I can just uh, take these alpha shapes from the first title clip and put it on the second one. And let's see what that looks like. That's nice. I just realized I forgot to make this disappear at the beginning. Well, not really disappear, up here. Um, I'm just gonna change the opacity on the first keyframe and put it to zero. So then it will grow and appear. I like it. So I think it looks better. Okay, and we're only missing one. It's we're almost there, and it's the pretty much easiest one, I think. I'm gonna align it with the second text effect, uh, text clip, and add a transform effect once more. And you can see it's quite big, um, so I'm just gonna make it way smaller, maybe like eight or nine percent for it to fit in there. That's actually working quite well already. And, well, I'm gonna add a keyframe roughly, like, I think a bit before, so maybe like it will finish like around here. So I'm gonna add a keyframe here, and then make sure the first one is smooth. The opacity will be 0% at the beginning, and it will be a bit to the right of where it is right now. And then I'm just gonna add a keyframe uh, on the right, move it towards the middle, and once more. And that should be quite smooth, like I want it to be. Actually, I want it to be a bit more to the right at the end, uh, to the left. It's too close to the rectangle. I'm gonna say like 18. Yeah. 
and yeah, that's good. Okay, so this is the appearing phase and then we need to have it disappear. So you could do something simple like just decrease the opacity of all of them. That would probably be the simplest thing. But if you want to do the exact same thing in the other direction, it's a bit annoying. But what I found to be the best method is to just copy and paste your clip and then you're gonna reverse all of the keyframes. This is just a bit annoying but it's not that bad. So you're gonna add one right next to the first one because you can't move the first one. So you're gonna move that to the end and then move this one to roughly the same distance as the first one. This one is gonna be around here, this one around here, that will be here and this one you need to move it um, to be the same as this one here. 290 and then same for the second one Control c Control v and just exchange all of the keyframes it seems like it takes a long time it's actually quite fast and it's way faster than just doing it in the other direction and then yeah for the first one we'll always have a problem you can just either remember this number and add a keyframe here at 285 or do like we did for the first one and we want the opacity at zero at the beginning. And this will be the same frame as this one. So zero, zero, everything at zero and the opacity at 100. Just copying and pasting, you know. So minus three, two, four is going to be the last one here. And then just exchange them. And this one will be at zero. Okay, let's hope I didn't mess up anything and see what it looks like. Nice. So yeah, I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. More of this coming and you can request videos in the description. Uh, the list is getting quite long. It might take a while. Bye bye.